Well, you're not suggesting that we spend all of the money on the wedding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> From only the bride side paying to splitting the wedding funds between the bride and groom side. Now, many millennials believe in funding their own weddings. With many youngsters not only earning well, but wanting smaller and more intimate weddings, they want to choose to pay for it themselves and take the burden off the shoulders of their parents. So, it would be ideal to fund your wedding, but you would either need to have a lot of savings or you'll have to end up borrowing a lot of money. But now you can get ready to tie the knot without tying yourself to the depth. So, according to estimates, 41% of the couples who want to fund their own weddings plan to use their own savings. Whereas 26% use personal loans and 33% actually do know how to go about it. So for these people and also those who don't want to take a personal loan, there is a new entrant in the market. A scheme called Marry Now and Pay Later. But what it is exactly? What is the difference between a wedding loan and the scheme then? So let's break it down for you. But before that, please subscribe to Money Control. So, wedding loans are typically traditional personal loans. They are given by banks or fintechs and designed explicitly for wedding expenses with borrowers receiving a lump sum upfront and repaying it through fixed monthly installments. However, in this case, the criteria which you need to meet to avail it is quite high. While of course criteria are different for different banks, there is a higher minimum account balance and minimum monthly salary requirement. In the case of Marry Now, Pay Later schemes, the specific platform you partner with, they have tie-ups with hotel chains. So they pay the venue expenses and you can keep repaying them later. So basically they analyze third-party data with your salary, your identity proofs and other such documents. And then you can go ahead. So the amount of hassle and scrutiny is lesser than taking a wedding loan. One thing you need to keep in mind, however, is what budget you are looking for. Banks can give wedding loans even ranging in crores, depending on the bank of course. In Marry Now Pay Later schemes, the maximum amount of funds a customer can avail is Rs 25 lakh. Another thing, of course, that you must consider for either of these options is whether you should take a loan in the first place or not. Like, should you start your marriage with debt? Well, here's what our experts have to say about it. I wouldn't recommend taking a loan for your wedding. I mean, it's supposed to be something which is, you know, you're, you're starting something so pure and so so new. So I, I wouldn't recommend taking any kind of debt to, to you know start your new life and if you have to because once you're planning your wedding even I got like uh, five years back even my wedding happened and if you plan well in advance say one year in advance you can bring down the cost significantly you can get all that you want within within your budget so I won't recommend taking a loan but if you have to take a loan uh, I would say sticking to sticking to traditional banks is better why I say this, uh, and taking a wedding loan instead of a marry now pay later loan. Uh, why I say this because when you take a marry now pay later loans, you are essentially borrowing from an NBFC, and NBFC is borrow from a bank. So I mean the cost because it's a two-step process. The cost increases because NBFCs will add their mm -hmm. margin also. So you know the wedding, uh, the marry now pay later loans will be any day costier than a personal loan. So your cost will significantly reduce if you go directly to a bank and take a personal loan instead. But again, don't take a loan for your wedding. So ultimately, it's about understanding your financial situation, communicating openly with your partner and aligning your wedding expenses with your long-term goals. 
remember it's not just about your big day it's about the life that follows hope you enjoyed this video for more such updates keep watching money control